Hey you guys, Desmond here and welcome back to the channel. And today we are here to discuss the first two episodes of Drag Race Brazil Season 1. But before we get into it, let me formally introduce myself for those who are new here. Hi, my name is Desmond and I'm going to be your host on this guide of Drag Race Brazil. Um, now, typically, I am joined by one of my best, Judy's Lucretia, but unfortunately, she will not be able to join me for this review series. She has so much going on with school and work, so she's going to be on some of the reviews, just not all of them. She is watching. She did tell me her thoughts on the first episode, and the second episode just came out today, so we're going to see what she thinks a little bit later. Um, but yes, um, before we get started, I really just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. We have a goal of 500 subscribers, and we would love to reach that by the end of the year. So please, 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 please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So, it's just going to be me this season, so y'all better sit down, buckle up, and let's go. Now, these first two episodes of Drag Race Brazil, I'm going to say that I am entertained. I am entertained and I'm excited to see what Brazil is going to bring us. Um, I was a little salty about the double premiere being on two different weeks, especially since it led into each other, because they did one similar to what season 15 did this year, where it was split into two episodes and it was broken down and there was one lip sync at the end. I feel like it would have told a better story if they would have just dropped the first two episodes at the same time. Because although we didn't get a lip sync at the end of the first episode for season 15, it didn't really, we didn't notice it because it went straight into the second episode. So I wish it was something similar to that so that, because it was just weird watching last week and be like, oh, no, no lip sync? Like, not even something, you know, just a little something. But hey, overall, I'm really enjoying my time here in Brazil, well, Colombia, uh, but I'm having a time visiting Brazilian drag. So I say we go ahead and get into it. We got two episodes to get into. If I'm going a little bit fast, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know why I thought waiting to do both of these episodes at the same time would be better than one at a time, but hey, that past Desmond set this up for me, so now I'm going to have to deal with it now. So, let's switch on over, and we find out the winner of Drag Race Brazil will win a year's supply of Anastasia's Beverly Hills, a crown and scepters, and 150,000 reyes. I hope I'm saying that right. Reyes? Reyes. Reyes. You know, I love, I love some cash, and this is going to be our title card for this season for Drag Race Brazil. So, we are going into the workroom and we're going to go through these entrances. Up first, we have Naza. I really enjoyed this. Um, I love the hair. I love the makeup. Real cute, real simple, ready for anything. Up next, we have Diva Moore. Now, we'll talk about Diva Moore a little bit later. But this entrance look here, I thought it was really cute. Um, I thought it was fun. I love the little camp element, but still giving fashion. So overall, really good look. Up next, we have, I want to say this is Bettina Polaroid, right? Look at me. I'm getting these names. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't know what to do to make me a bigger fan of it. So I'm going to have to boot it. I do know for a fact, I think I would have chose a different wig for this. But I do have to say, I love me some Bettina. And I really don't think she should have been in the bottom two this episode. We'll get into that a little bit later as well. So, um, oh, they were shady. They kept zooming in on the back of this bodysuit knowing damn well it wasn't zipped up. I'm like, oh, honey, they out to get you. I should have known you were going to be in the bottom when they kept zooming in on this. They did her dirty. They did. And I'm like, did nobody tell her? I would have been like, hey, sis, turn around. And I was just zipped it up for her. Now, if it was broken, now that's a different thing. But, like, if it could have been resolved, I would have been like, hey, sis, turn around, turn around, turn around. Zip, zip that up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we're moving on to Maluzine Sparkle. I hope I said that right. Don't worry. I am working on these names. And by the end of this season, honey, they're going to be flying out naturally. Um, but I really love this Milk and Cookies look. This was, again, camp, but fashion. I love the pink wig. I wasn't sure if I was liking it at first, but as I was watching, I'm like, okay, 
I'm really enjoying this pink wig. This look, honestly, I would want it. <laughs> Just going to be real with y'all. Um, also, I love the pink hair in real life, too. I'm like, okay, okay, back when I had hair. I used to play with colors before I got my locks. Honestly, I should have kept playing with colors when I had my locks. But anyway, I used to play with a lot of colors. Never did pink, but it did cross my mind. It did. Um, up next, we have Aquarella. Aquarella. Um, and I like the, I really like this queen. I really like this queen. I really like this interest look. It's different. I love the clash of patterns. Um, there must be a sale for these shoes because like three, four different queens walked in with them. But I'm not going to point that out. Um, but I really enjoyed this look. I love, I love, love, love it. Up next, we have Miranda Labrow. Um, I believe she's, is she the last one? I think she's the last one who walked into the workroom. And this look was everything. Uh, now... This was cute. I love the headscarf. Like, this all just really checks every box for me. So, yep, that was the last one. Um, if you couldn't tell, my favorite was Malunzi. I know I'm not saying that baby's name right. Malunzi? Malunzi. Miss Sparkle. Miss Sparkle here uh, was my favorite look. Um, and I love how they were all shocked. Like, oh my god. And I know you have to play it up for TV. So you'd be like, oh my God, what's going on here? I'm confused. You know, no one, we know that it's going to be a split premiere. Um, but they go to the stage. Well, they go to the monitor and they find out that Grag Queen will be the host of Drag Race Brazil. Uh, she gives the room mail and then she comes into the workroom. And I love how they kept giving Grad Queen a nameplate. I'm like, honey, we know who Grad Queen is. You don't have to keep telling us. I don't think they've done that for anybody else. But they're like, maybe because, I don't know. I don't know. We know. Who, but yeah, but they kept telling us who Grad Queen was. They kept giving her a nameplate. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. Um, like I said, Miss Sparkle here had my favorite look. And Grad Queen now is going to announce that, yes, this is a split premiere. But also what the prizes are and we've already touched on them a year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills a crown and scepter now if this is the crown and scepter they get this is stunning this is probably one of my favorite ones I've seen so far like this was really good I also like the all-stars eight crown that was given the Jimbo oh that was so good I loved it <sighs> all right so we're and of course the cash prize of 150,000 reyes and then she also mentioned just like a lot of the international versions they will also get a pin when they win the week's challenge which i ordered this pin it might be here i need to go check my mailbox it might be here because i ordered this one and it wasn't mexico's i already had mexico's philippines Philippines. I ordered that in Philippines. Uh, you can't see it, but it's hanging up right here. And it's a thing of pins. One day I'll bring it up so you can see all the pins that I've collected so far. Um, but yeah. So, Grad Queen then announces that there's not going to be a mini challenge, which that gagged them. I'm like, there's been times... Has there ever been a time on the premiere that there wasn't a mini challenge? I don't think so. Even on US, they at least do a mini challenge on the first episode. I don't know, but they were really gagged, and I was gagged too. But they were really, but I think they were even more gagged that Greg said they were going to do a girl group challenge. I'm like, honey, this is like the first time we've started Drag Race doing some girl groups. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. Let them have their moment. Like I said, they got to camp it up for TV. They, they know they're on TV. So they sit down, they write their verses, they go to the main stage and record their verses with Greg Queen and this producer that they did not give a name to. Um, then they do their choreography, and baby, this was a hot mess. I'm like, y'all really need to get it together immediately, okay? So, we now are going to go to the main stage, where we have the beautiful grad queen here. I really enjoyed this look for the premiere. Now, the second episode, we'll talk about that one. But, for the premiere, I really enjoyed this look. It, the pink is a lovely color on her. So, we are joined by our permanent judges of Bruna Braga, love her, and Dudu Bertolini. Bertolini. I love Dudu as well. Dudu and Brava, I love them. Dudu and Bruna, I called her by her last name. Bruna and Dudu, 
I love them. I love them so much. And we were joined by our special guest judge this week, Gretchen. Now, Miss Gretchen here, I live for her. And she deserved to see a lip sync, honey. She deserved to see a lip sync. They should have had her come back for the second episode as well. Just had the same uh, guest judge. Maybe her schedule wouldn't allow it. But I would have tried because it's, you deserve to see a lip sync. Shoot. But anyway, um, we find out that the category is My Roots. So up first, we have Malunzi Sparkle. I thought this was really fun. I thought this was real campy. And it was unexpected as well. I was like, okay. Okay, I love the horse. I love I love the bikini. I thought this was a fun way to introduce yourself. Um, up next, we have Bettina Polaroid. Now, I do agree. The bodysuit is a little basic. But I do enjoy this... Um, this moment here that she's holding up behind her um and i really thought i really think this outfit was got her in the bottom because her verse wasn't bad it really wasn't we'll talk about it though up next we have naza now for those of you who are new here i'm not the biggest fan of chaps i'm not so when i saw them i'm like hmm but overall I, I do like the look it's just the chaps i just i just just want to cut them off <sighs> but the rest of the look I do like. So, yeah. Um, up next, we have Miranda Lebro. Um I like this look. It was just... Oh, whoop, I forgot. It's only one screenshot. Um, I like this look. It just... There was a lot going on here. And like I said, I... You know, not from Brazil. So, the reference, I may have missed it. Um, but I do overall like the dress. But it's just like the accessories. The one uh, green legging here. Yeah, it's just... I, I was confused. I'll say that. I was confused, but I did like what I see. Yeah, that's that's the perfect way to put it. Um, up next is Aquarela. Aquarela. And this this was everything. She walked out in this. I was like... All right. All right, and I'll tell you this now. She's the only one from group one that is in my top four for the season. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Uh, up next, we have Diva Moore. This was so cute, so fun, so campy. I was just like, I'm like, okay, I know who Diva Moore is after seeing this. This was just, it was just so fun, and I really enjoyed it. So, out of all these six amazing queens, my favorite look is Aquarella. I really enjoyed this. Like, just look at the pattern and the proportions of this. This is, just, like, look at that. Look at that. So, it's now time for the girl group challenge. And I will say this. For the good girls, I like their song better than the hot girls. But I do think the hot girls did better with performing their song because I felt like there was too many singers in this group. I'm like, what, what, come on now. I understand Grad Queen is in front of you, but like some of you really should have rapped your verses. And that's the one thing I applaud the second group. It was mostly them rapping their verses. They're like, we're not singers. <laughs> I'm gonna come in here and do the best that I can with what I got. So, hello. So, let's get into this girl group performance. And, but no, no, one more thing. Why didn't they do any group choreography? They went through all that on the main stage. And there was not a group choreography moment. It was all them individually. All the way through. And I'm like, okay, well maybe at the end, they'll come together and give you a one, two, a three, four. No. No. I'm like, what's going on here? What is going on here? I am very confused. Very confusion. I didn't know how they was going to be judged. But I'm like, I can't, the second group has to be better than this, to be honest. But let's go ahead and get into these verses. Um, up first is Naza. Let me look at my notes. I like Naza's. I thought it was fun. Cute. Um, we're moving on to Diva Moore. Did not like this at all. <laughs> now, it wasn't the worst of... Probably She, she probably was the worst of this group. But the worst one altogether is in the other group. And she only got saved because of, you know, the whole group challenge thing. And you know me, I judge by groups. For those who don't know, uh, I feel like every every time there's a group challenge, you should be judged as a group. And that's just me. 
So if you're a shining star on a turd group, well, honey, there's a possibility you could be lip syncing because of it. But hey, we'll get into that more in the season when we get more group challenges. So up next is Bettina Polaroid. And I really enjoyed this verse. I really did. This makeup and this screenshot is not... Oh, I, I did this girl dirty. I'm so sorry, Bettina. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I really liked her verse. Up next is Aquarella, baby, my favorite verse of the group. Ate it up. Ate it up. And like, I love this queen. If you can't tell, I'm a stand. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm a stand. Um, so, up next we had Miranda Labrau. She tried. <laughs> she, tr she tried. She tried. And last was Miss Sparkle here. And my notes, I'm like, ah, oh, she was okay. Like, you know, it was, it was good. You know, not bad, not good, you know. Very safe performance. Very safe performance. And that was the first group, yay! So after the judges' critiques, um, they're in the workroom, they're having their untucked moment, and the alarm goes off. And we're like, uh-oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? And she's like, you think I'm going to send somebody home without seeing all the queens? And I'm like, okay, cool. That means we're going to stop here and go into the next episode next week. No, it really went the next day. And we are now being introduced to the next group of queens. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Why don't we just do all that next week? Like, wh why are we doing this now? But hey, hey, I don't make the decisions here. So uh, first we have Shannon, Shannon, Scarlet. Love this queen. Love this look. I love the uh, the street art inspired look. Um, the only thing is her tights are a little light. And I know sometimes it's harder for, you know, black queens to find that right shade. And then I also heard, um, I believe it was Candy Muse who said this. When you go to Drag Race, bring tights that are like two times darker than your actual skin tone. Because with all those lights, it's going to brighten them up. So you need to get darker tights. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, real good. Real good. Up next, we have Ruby Ocean. Now, I'm going to say this. Miss Ruby is a lot here. But I like her. I like her very much. Um, the second group for me was way more entertaining and way more... I'm, I'm excited to see more from them. Um, but yeah, this look, entrance look, it was okay. It was okay. I'm just excited. Ooh, her runway look, though. We'll get to that. Her runway look, though. Mm, 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 mm. Um, Ruby Ocean, 29 years old. Up next, we have Tristan. So, the Tristan. I had it down a minute ago. Don't worry. I will have it down. I apologize for this. I will have it down next week. But it's Tristan. Um, I didn't really particularly care for the black, you know, this bodysuit number here, but the dress is stunning. I would have took that black off. Had the dress, kept the headpiece, you know, that was great. And probably do like a real sickening, like paint drip type jewelry around the shoulders, you know, so that we have something on the chest. Um, but yeah, overall I like it, so it's still a toot. It's still a toot. Oh, up next is Helena Meldita. This, baby, this is my favorite entrance look probably of the year. Baby, she walked in and to me, this gives like a finale look to me. I'm like... This is just the entrance? Like, my goodness. I almost put her in my top four. I did. But so, something about her don't sit right in my spirit. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, honey. But I, I did like this look. And this is my favorite of this group. And my favorite of all the entrance look for Drag Race Brazil. Um, up next is Dallas DeVille. Just look at eight. I loved every second of this. Baby, I thought I went to Chromatica for a minute. I'm like, oh, this was so good. I love the hair. I love the makeup. Everything is just a big check mark for me. Big check mark. Then we have Organza. Another queen that I just completely live for. I love this hair. This hair is everything and I want it. Mm-hmm. I want it and I want it now. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is just she looks great. She looks great. She really do. 
So we have our six queens. Again, alarm goes off. They're, they realize that, oh, we're doing a split premiere. And then Grad Queen got on here like, yeah, although you're not the first ones, we're still excited that you're here. So Grad Queen comes in, once again explains what the prizes are. And there's no mini challenge, and we're going to be doing a girl group challenge. But they're the hot girl, the hot girls group. You know what I'm saying? So, ugh, I had to get this shot. Just look at uh, like yeah, but something in my spirit don't sit right by Miss Helena. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, I've been wrong before. Excuse me, I've been wrong before. So we're just, I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna watch. You know, I love to watch. You know, not judge, just watch. So. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong about her. Because I was wrong about Tristan Perlata. Because something in my spirit didn't sit right with Christian at first. Now, I love Christian. And it looks like she's going to win tomorrow. So, congratulations, Christian. Okay, let's, let's just be real. Five wins. Even though I don't agree with all five of them. Still, she's going to win tomorrow. All right. So, um, we are here. They're writing their groups. They're writing their groups. They're writing their verses. They record with Grad Queen. And then they do their choreography. Now, baby, I thought the last group was a lot. This group was a lot. Everybody had an opinion. And, and I'm sorry, these three right here in the front had an opinion. <laughs> Kept talking over each other. I'm like, Lord, there's too many people trying to choreograph this. And the Pope baby's in the back. Well, Chris, uh, Tristan's over here. Um, and they were just so lost. And you can see that in the group number as well. But we'll get to that. So, it's now time for the main stage where we have the beautiful grad queen. Um, I am not the biggest fan of this look. Yeah, I am not the biggest fan of this look. I don't like it. <laughs> I love Grey Queen. But yeah, I I didn't like this look at all. So once again, we were joined by Dudu and Bruna. And this week's special guest judge, Flavio. So the category is, once again, My Roots. And up first, we have Helena Maldita Stunning. I love every piece of this. I love that there was smoke coming out the boat. It's, it's little things that get me. It's little things that just makes me happy up in my spirit. And seeing that smoke come out of that head of that head boat piece, I loved it. I loved it. Up next we have Organza. Now I got a picture of this. And when she said this was hand painted, I was like, wow, this this is really beautiful. It really is. And then she turns around to give us body. I love this so much. Like, there is nothing about this I would have changed. This was just... Mwah, mwah. Up next is Tristan. Now, I like this outfit. But I think it's like a size too big for Tristan. And also, I feel like uh, she her proportions are off just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like, maybe a little bit uh, corseted in the stomach would have really brought it all together for me. But overall, this is a good look, so I'm going to give it a two. There was just a few small things I would have tweaked. So, up next, we have Dallas DeVille. Now, I like this look, but it really hurt my feelings that the back of the dress didn't have the fake leaves all the way down. I'm like, oh. I'm like, maybe she ran out of time. Who knows? But... Everything else, I thought it was really good. I really did. Up next is Shannon Scarlett. And this was stunning. This is everything. I was mesmerized. I was enchanted to meet her for my Taylor uh, Swift. What, Swifty fans, okay? I'm a low-key Swifty. I became a Swifty on, when 1989 came out. Because, baby, that's my album. So, who's excited for this Taylor version? Who <laughs> is me. Because I'm going to turn it up. All right. Um, but yes, uh, this look is amazing. It's beautiful. Up next is Miss Ruby Ocean. Look at this. Look at this. Now, this wig choice. Ma'am. I'm going to let it slide this time. But this wig choice was a choice. And I don't like it. Okay. But the rest of it is amazing, beautiful, breathtaking. It's just this wig choice. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so out of all these six amazing queens, I would have to say my favorite look is um, Helena Meldita. Again, just, just it's just right. It really is. It's just right. So now it's time to see their music video. And thank you for doing some group choreography. Thank you. I'm sitting there. I'm like, thank you. Now, granted, the three girls in the back did not know the choreography. Really didn't. But overall, this was presented better. I felt like the verses were better. Although I liked the song of Group 1 better. The verses and the performance was so much better here for the hot girls. So, we're going to start off with Ruby. She did a really good job. I was really entertained. She has a lot of energy. And I don't know how... I love it, but I'm not sure if I'll... Con <sighs> she has a lot of energy. And we'll just see how I feel about all that energy a little bit later. I need her to throw some of that energy towards my way, if we're going to be honest. Because, baby, baby, I, 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 need, some, I need some more energy, okay? Um, up next is Helena. Let me see. Helena. Yes, I did like her verse. Um, I thought it was good. It was cute. Just good. Um, this was the shot of the whole group. I'm like, thank you. Thank you, hot girls, for giving us group choreography. Okay? <laughs> so, up next, we have Dallas DeVille. I loved this verse. This is probably my favorite verse of both girl groups. She didn't know the choreography. <laughs> like, there were several times she was in the back, and they were all dancing, and she's just standing. I'm like, sis, Sis, if you don't, you gotta fake it till you make it, honey. And you were not back there faking it, okay? Because I'm not the best at picking up choreography either. But baby, I, I'm gonna look the best back there. Be like, eh, eh, you wouldn't know I didn't know the choreography. You would think they had the choreography wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, up next, we have. Sorry, I had a brain fire for a second. Shannon, Shannon Scarlett. Um, she ate. <laughs> just no other way to put it she ate um, up next is Organza she, this win was rightfully hers this week she had the best verse she knew the choreography the best and honestly my eyes would not stay off of her when they were all together she was right there and I was like I live for her I do ah <sighs> Tristan, you really ruined it because everybody had a good verse. But you. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, how did Grad Queen not say something about this verse? Because even during the rehearsals, I'm like, no, this don't sound right. Maybe I just need to hear the finished product. And after hearing the finished product, like this brought the song down. I'm like, sis, what you doing? Honestly, this was judged ind individually. You would have been lip syncing tonight, honey. You would have been. But yeah, baby, she looked good, though. She looked good. And um, she did not know the choreography. Not as bad as Dallas, but she, she still didn't know it. <laughs> she still did not know it. But yes, this is our group, the Hot Girls. And they did amazing. So, afterwards, they're in the workroom doing their untucked for the moment. And the alarm goes, ooh, the alarm goes off. And the first set of queens come in. So, you know, they do their little stare down like, oh, 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 oh. And then they scream and hug. All that fun stuff. And we're now back on the main stage. So, out of both groups, my favorite look of all this, I think I would have to give it to Helena. I, I just, I love every piece of this. Like, Organza's a close second, honestly. And then Aquarilla, like, it's them three for me this week. And there's so many good looks this week. There's honestly not too many bad looks. So that's all. That's a great... Oh, that, that gives me faith in the runways for Drag Race Brazil. I'm super excited for them. So we find out that the Hot Girls is the top team of the week. But only one of them can be the winner. And it is Organza. And she won a cash tip of 5,000 reals. And of course, a pin to wear around, honey. So I agree with this choice. I really thought she was the best. 
So the good girls found out they are not the winning team, and two of them are going to have to lip sync. And we find out that it's Bettina Polaroid and Diva Moore. I don't agree with this. I don't. I really think it should have been Miranda and Diva. I think it should have been Miranda and Diva. But hey, I'm not Greg. I wasn't there. So they lip sync to Bandida by Pablo Vitar. Um, this lip sync was a lip sync. Like, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't, like, good either. You know what I'm saying? It was just very middle of the road. Like, it was better than Mexico's first lip sync. Baby, that was. My God, that was probably the worst premiere lip sync I've ever seen. But this one, it was okay. And she announced that uh, Bettina Polaroid is the winner of this lip sync. And I agree. I do feel like she gave just a little bit more. Not much, but a little bit more than Diva Moore. Which means, unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to Miss Diva Moore. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, I hope we get to see you again. You know, we see this pattern of first outs coming back because we saw two on All Stars 8. And there's a rumored one for UK versus the World Season 2. So maybe one day we'll see you again, my dear. Maybe. But they sing and dance. And there we are done with our first two episodes. So, for episode three, we find out they're going to be doing an acting challenge. So, I'm super excited for that. So, before we wrap up, I'm going to give y'all who I think is going to be the top four for this season. Go ahead and tell me down in the comments, do you agree? What's your top four? And anything you wanted to add or comment on that I said throughout this whole episode. Let's have an open conversation as long as you don't be rude. Okay? I can have a conversation with someone, but if you're just flat out being rude... You will be blocked, okay? Me and the block buttons are besties. So, my top four is Organza, Shannon Scarlet, Ruby Ocean, and Aquarilla. Those are my top four. Like I said, I almost put Helena in there, but like I said, something in my spirit just don't sit right with Helena. So, we're going to have to wait and see. We're going to have to wait and see. So, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of bud, mama. But if I'm not there, you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. And we'll see you this weekend. Bye.